Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Park Beyond, running on Xbox Series S, and um, yeah, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data this game is, and that's 30.8 GB. The game's not on Game Pass, and I think it's like, yeah, 60 euros. There's even a free trial, so if you want to try it out for yourself, to see if it's something that you would like, go check it out. You can try a free trial and yeah, it gives you a decent amount of idea what this game is all about. The game is optimized for new gen consoles ish. So what more on that later? Um, let's go, uh, let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload on a almost daily basis, new games, old games, updates on games, even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, um, Park Beyond. I was actually looking forward to this one. I, I, I really like these theme park building games. I think they're, they're amazing. I always want to ride the, 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 the attractions myself. And uh, <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. It's like relaxing, laid back, and just go with the flow of the game. It's super relaxing. And this is one of those games that is actually super, super relaxing. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Yes, resume to get into. By the way, big shout out to Bandai Namco for sending me a key to this game so I could, uh, could try it out on this channel. And um, yeah, hopefully it won't take that longer. So yeah, right out of the bat, it's 30 FPS. Boom, there it is. And before you say, boot, boot the series, uh, no. <laughs> It's also 30 FPS on Series X and also on PlayStation 5. So it doesn't matter on what system you're playing this game on, it's 30 FPS. Well, it's like I said before, we're going to see more and more games direction. this generation that will run at 30 FPS, especially if they are made for the newer generation. But I don't think that this game should have been uh, 30 FPS. It does look good. It does look uh, look funny. It is quite, yeah, okay-ish. I think it uh, it works perfectly fine with a uh, with a controller. Controls are amazing. I don't think there are mouse and keyboard controls. Oh yeah, there are, but you can't use the mouse. I think. Oh. You can. Oh, yeah, you can. You can play it with mouse and keyboard if you want. So that's a good thing. So if you want to play this with uh, with mouse and keyboard, then that's no problem. Uh, the roller coaster is missing some track segments. You can complete it by going into the edit ride. Okay. It indeed is missing a few parts of the track i'm actually playing right now with mouse and keyboard so that's pretty cool place three atms around the park so you can extend their stays okay um demolish no shops and facilities facilities those are all toilets, vending machines. I'm always searching. Uh, where is it? These are all modular things you can use. Probably I will already watched over it. 
I did see them somewhere, but I don't know where anymore. Beep, 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 beep. I know they're here. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's a lounge, that's a toilet. Trash cans. Where are the ATMs? Am I stupid? Yes. Yes, Maurice, you are stupid. Okay, yeah, just asking. These are the roller coasters, lead rides. Why can't I find um A T M? Enter. ATM. Feels a little bit strange with mouse and keyboard. Ah, here we go. Large ATM. Okay, let's put one here. Let's put one here. And let's... Yay! It worked. You know what? I'm gonna make a bigger road. Bad placement. Here we go. Now people can walk across the park. What's this? So that's for the... There's a lot of people already running around. But you can't go as super close. It's like insane how close you can get up towards these people. And that's probably the reason why it's only 30 FPS on all these systems. Because you can literally get up close and these character designs look pretty well. It is all okay-ish, I think, but yeah, I, I was expecting 60 FPS on the next gen uh, machines. Maybe there will be an update later on or something where we get like 60 FPS for this. Uh... Place a super near shop, relished or loved by families, okay? I know how to do that. Da Vinci Balloon Shop. Okay. Now we have a balloon shop here. It's pretty amazing. How much do these balloons cost? Okay. Pretty fine. You know, it it looks good, but yeah. I I I I really thought this game would have been 60 FPS. It's a really big game, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stuff to do in here. And uh yeah, it works great. Build and open a new roller coaster here. Okay. Maybe I will. Roller coasters. Standard.
No, I need to go up. No. This one. Yeah, that's the right, that's the right one. That's the right one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not getting up. Chain lift. There it goes up. This is going to be one crazy hell of a ride. Ah, they all fall down. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, this is Park Beyond running on Xbox Series S. And uh, yeah, if you're like me and you really like these kind of games, you will have a lot of fun playing this. Make crazy, insane roller coasters. Should this game have has been a, um, a, a 60 FPS mode? 100%. Yeah. Um, it's Unreal Engine 4. So yeah, maybe because there's so much stuff going on and people walking around, that they chose for a 30 fps um mode but hey it is what it is you guys thank you for watching hope you had fun hope to see you guys soon in another one <laughs> bye